Hey guys, so it's my four week check-in. Uh, Weigh-in was yesterday, um, but I don't have a scale because I'm on vacation in Idaho. Uh, today we're in Silverwood. That's the music you hear in the background. So you might hear some kids running by and some other things. My uh, family is on rides right now, so I thought it might be a perfect opportunity to update you guys on what's going on. Um, I was able to measure yesterday, um, and so I'm 11 inches down since surgery, which is awesome. I have no idea how much I weigh. Um, I can tell you I've lost two inches in my neck alone, which is incredible to me. Um, being on vacation uh, just four weeks after surgery, there are a few things that um, I've learned that I think are important to share. One of them is I forgot my two ounce cups with the lids on them. And I feel like that would have been really important for me since we spend all day on a beach, um, on a lake. So I've been living off of protein shakes. And then I had to bring um, my cottage cheese out and things like that. Um, and guess how much I've, I'm eating. Um, I do bring my baby spoon. Um, I also, I tried bacon this week, extra crispy, and then I chewed the crap out of it. Um, it was really good and really satisfying. You know, it's all protein and fat, so no carbs in it. Not that I'm counting carbs right now anyways. Um, but it was really tasty and that helped a little bit. Um, but it was, it was really hard uh, with everybody else eating the chips and the cookies and the desserts all week um, and making meals that I just couldn't eat. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm on um, soft food now, but I've been on puree food most of the time. And so it's, uh, you know, that was hard at first, but then I got over it. I think I'm so afraid of hurting something internally by eating something a little too fast that um, it only bothered me for a minute. So today we're at an amusement park, Silverwood in Northern Idaho. And um, I did look at the menus of all the restaurants before we arrived. I had my protein shake on the way here. And a lot of the restaurants have things I can eat, whether it would be um, some mashed potatoes or some tuna fish or um, some chicken, things like that. So I just eat off of everybody else's plate. Uh, I did try jumbo shrimp the other day. Uh, I ate it way too fast and I felt really bad afterwards. My stomach hurt, I was nauseous. Um, I don't think it was dumping syndrome. I think it was just a matter of me just eating way too fast. I ended up after dinner just going to bed because um, I just didn't feel good. Um, and so trying these new foods have made me a little bloated. So it was funny and interesting on Wednesday when I did my measurements, uh, my stomach was like one and a half inches bigger than it was today, which is today's Thursday. Um, and it was just bloating, gas, things like that from uh, introducing new foods into my diet. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, but you know, still a challenge to get water in. Um, I did bring my scale and my baby spoons um, on my trip. And so that has been really, really, really very helpful. I've been uh, measuring everything that I can. And then when I go out, like I said, when I go out um, to the beach, I bring my protein shakes. I did get my blender bottle in, the one with the, the blade on the inside. Um, and so I've been making smoothies every morning and then throwing a protein shake in the cooler. And so the smoothies have been good. I've been doing it with um, four ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, four ounces of um, Oikos, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, Oikos uh, Greek yogurt, the triple zero vanilla, and then about uh, two ounces of fresh berries. And so I've been spitting out the seeds. The seeds kind of get filtered by the cup I have. Uh, but I've been spitting those out. So that's been really good. I haven't finished one yet. Um, but it takes me about three or four hours to drink on it um, because it's a ton of, of liquid and it's pretty thick too. So that's been really tasty. And then my shakes, and then I've, I brought my cottage cheese and my um, jalapeno cream cheese out a couple of times and that was tasty. Um, and then, like I said, I tried the bacon, which was absolutely delicious. So today I'm in an amusement park. Um, I'm only going on the rides that don't have restraints on them. They have a little kitty car ride that I went on. Um, nothing that goes in circles. I'm being very, very, very careful. Uh, mostly just sitting out and, 
and standing by the bags and sitting on a bench. Uh, but I'm enjoying myself. It's not too hot outside, so it's nice. And then, um, and then tomorrow is our car ride home. And so uh, vacation was a success, a success overall. Um, I've been staying, you know, uh, right at my, um, my protein goals. One day I got 87 um, grams of protein, which was awesome, but I'm still, like I said, I'm struggling with the water. Uh, so still trying to figure that piece out. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why I'm struggling with the water, but I am. Uh, but I'm feeling good. My clothes, I'm starting to feel uh, looser, uh, which is awesome. They're starting to feel a little oversized. Um, but, uh, you know, I just had surgery four weeks ago, so I got to give my body time to uh, heal before it truly starts losing the weight. So I'm hoping that comes in the next week or two. But um, I should have a big loss in week five since I didn't weigh myself week four. And I'm not going to between now and week five. Um, I'm just going to let it be and let it ride and then go from there. So anyways, if you enjoy watching uh, my little updates about uh, how my um, surgery progress and my recovery is going, uh, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have uh, tons of subscribers. I'm hoping that these videos help you um, in your success. And uh, please write in the comments if uh, you have any thoughts or suggestions.